going on, you guys? We are back again with another luxury home tour in Porter Ranch in the northern San Fernando Valley of the Los Angeles County. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys this brand new modern contemporary home that features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 4,518 square feet of interior space, and it's currently priced to start at just about $2 million. So we're gonna be starting our tour in the front walkway of the home as we head up these steps to the front entrance and you can see how modern the exterior of this home is with your sleek blue tinted garage door to my left. All of the wood paneling throughout on this bottom level and you'll notice all of the incredible landscaping throughout as they do an amazing job here in this community. Now when you purchase these homes, it actually come as dirt lots and then you can pay for your own upgrades in landscaping and make it look pretty much however you want. But let's head up to the front door just an amazing modern glass front door. And let's just go inside because you're gonna be in awe right as we walk in. Well, we made it inside and one thing that I really like, small details, are the wood beams up on the ceiling that wrap all the way around to the wall on the left. Makes for a very welcoming vibe as you arrive to the home, as well does this floating staircase with the glass railings and it is, this is the most floating stair, this is the definition of a floating staircase, look at that. You can stand right underneath it and get the views of the entire San Fernando Valley, this open space, the 30 foot high ceilings. But before we keep talking about that, we're gonna take a turn to the right. Now what's this way? You have a glass window door that leads into that two car garage. High ceilings in there as well. You can add lifts. There's enough space. You have for a little mud room right outside your garage and then the powder room. Once again, high ceilings in your powder room. As you look toward the vanity, you have dark black quartz countertops. You have a mirror in the center that goes all the way up to that ceiling, which is a very nice touch. So even if you're seven foot five, you can still see yourself in the mirror up there, maybe even eight foot five. A lot of space, some modern light fixtures. Let's keep moving out of this powder room. And directly across on the other side as I walk backwards, there's your coat closet and the first bedroom of the house. This is my first time in this bedroom, actually. It's pretty impressive. There's a lot of space. It doesn't act as your normal guest bedroom. You even have enough room for a couch. You make for a little living room, flat screen TV up on the wall, high ceilings once again, windows that look out toward your front landscaping. And it is also en suite, so let's check out this bathroom. You have a little hallway that leads you to a walk-in closet before the bathroom. Plenty of room in here. You have the same stone countertops, but in a lighter white color that we saw in the other room, dark brown cabinetry. Very modern tile on the flooring, and I love the pattern on these tiles in the shower. Now that is a nice upgrade. They almost looks like wood beams. Wow, it, it feels like wood too. That's, that's a nice tile on that shower wall. Just yet another amazing bathroom, high-end upgrades in here, but let's keep moving on out of this. All right, let's just talk about this open living space. Now, the one thing that caught my attention right away is that there is a bar in your living room. You usually don't see this, and there is so much space. Look at how much countertop space there is in this bar. And you have the same dark quartz countertops that we saw in the powder room. I'm just gonna walk around, you can stay there. I'm gonna show you what it's like as the bartender. Now, this is the best view you can get because you can see the valley, you can see the entire house, even up to the loft area. You have these modern light fixtures, pendant light fixtures hanging down from the high ceilings. And then if you look in here, you have a Kohler sink, of course, and down below, KitchenAid refrigerator. Anything you need in the bar, and you could probably fit two or three people in this little area. And directly next to that bar, you have another door, leads you to your pantry, and then yet another room. So there would actually not be a door that leads into this room. Most rooms don't have a door currently, but that's because once you buy this home, they'll build the door in after. So this would be considered an office space, but not technically a room of the house. There's some countertop space to my left that can act as desk areas where you can do work. I do love the staging in here as they have a massive calendar with lots of great reminders up here, such as take Charlie to the dog spa. That reminds me, I do have to pick up my dog today. So that is uh, something good to know. It's not my calendar, but you know, there it is. And so a lot of nice built-in shelf space around me, very modern. I love the bright white wood material and you have a nice light fixture above. That's pretty much it, but a lot of space in this office. It's not a small office, just like the guest bedroom wasn't a small guest bedroom, over 4,500 square feet in here, so there's plenty of room. And now we're out of the office. We are into your incredible luxury chef's kitchen. You have Caesar Stone Quartz, once again, waterfall edge with an outlet there on the side. The best appliances that you'll see, Sub-Zero. 
Now, if you haven't seen our other channel, Living Los Angeles, we do go to Sub-Zero's headquarters down in Costa Mesa. It's an amazing video, so if you wanna watch that, I'll put the link down below in the description. All high-end appliances in here next to that, built-in Wolf oven and microwave. All the cabinetry is dark, but it doesn't have to look exactly like this if you buy this home. You can put custom cabinetry as well. And this is a nice glass backsplash that lasts the entire length of your kitchen. It looks amazing above, right below your hood vent and your six burner stove. The classic red knobs for your Wolf appliances. Dual oven down there. So that's your three ovens. Two to my right, one that you guys just saw. Then to my left, of course, trash compactor, large sink, just everything you need in your kitchen. And then those light fixtures are massive, wow. Hanging down from that drop down ceiling and you can see the lights above the drop down ceiling to give that 3D effect which is always a nice touch in these brand new homes. And then you have breakfast bar seating on the outside facing your living room. That looks amazing, but before we go into the living room, we're gonna show you the backyard because it's phenomenal. This backyard is something special and then we'll come back into the living room. All right, as I step out to the backyard through these sliding glass doors, we arrive to your covered patio space with a fan, flat screen TV that is up on your limestone wall, built in speakers above so you can throw a party, blast music out here outdoor dining space and it's a little bright so I'm gonna have to throw on the glasses for this outdoor portion but this is really cool as I was saying there is a drop down full kitchen and bar over here if you thought that indoor bar wasn't enough look at this this is ridiculous this stonework out here is amazing and you have enough for about six seats eh, four to four to six seats over on your bar built-in wolf barbecue grill another fridge built in down there below I love this dark stone, it contrasts nice with the light countertops here. And then, what do you know, views, you can see the entire community, you can see, I can see a couple of my clients' homes that are being built down there as well. All right, walking around this entire backyard, watch your steps as you come up here toward your zero edge pool, an elevated spa that gives you the views of course. I do like the staging where you see a day bed. It is surrounded by two lights, so at night you can just imagine how incredible it looks over here. And so this pool has a waterfall surrounding the entirety of it that drops down into this stonework that borders it that you can see. That's, that's amazing. It's, it's symmetrical, so you got another day bed over on the other side. Just plenty of room out here. It's a large lot, large yard. And of course, amazing weather all the time here in Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley. But let's head back through these massive sliding doors. I'll show you the living room and dining space. So the dining area and living room just flow seamless together, as you can see with these 40 foot high ceilings. You know, I know I talk about some oversized windows, but those are over oversized windows. There's so much space, so much natural light will come into this living area. And you can see the tiles that surround your TV go from the ground all the way up to the ceiling, which is amazing. And then you have a few circular modern chandelier light fixtures hanging down from the ceilings as well with the recessed lighting throughout adds an amazing touch. Now to my left, what do you guys think this is? It could be a theater, who knows? It's another office, you have another office. Now if you saw my other video that I'll link I'll, right here, if you click that video, it has over a million views. It is pretty similar of a layout to this house and this space was a movie theater, but in this home it's actually an office space, which is, which is a different touch, it's pretty unique. But you have sliding glass doors that lead you into here. Dark wood features with some storage, some drawers on this side, makes for a nice office. This office is nice, the other one is more private. This one faces the views, the living room, the pool, just everything you might want in an, in an open office space. All right, that was everything down here on this first level. I'm just gonna give you one more glimpse of it. Let's get some more B-roll, of course, if you haven't seen enough already, but we're gonna head upstairs as we walk up the floating staircase and show you what's up there. Up the dark black wood floating staircase, you can just look behind me and see the impeccable views of your house. You have the oversized windows looking out to the valley, unbelievable views overall from your second level up here. But now if you see behind me, we've got this nice loft area that also looks down and the glass railings also add a touch to open up this space a little bit more. But as you can see, there's enough room to hang out, maybe have your kids just lounge around, be out of the way from all the adults that are in the bar areas inside and outside. And there's built in speakers above so they can listen to their own things up on this flat screen TV without bothering anyone else. So let's go into the first bedroom up here on the second level, which is this way. As you can see, there's a lot of pink in this room. So I would assume it's for the younger daughter of the household. To my left, there's a little makeup station, a walk-in closet as well. 
This is a corner room, so you get lots of views and a lot of natural sunlight. I really like the light fixtures on both sides of the bed. And then let's check out this bathroom. All the bathrooms have a lot of character in their own ways, and you can see the tiles are all different, very modern in here. Countertops are pretty similar though, as well as the cabinetry down below on the vanity. The tile in the shower is very different. You have glass linear tiles from floor to ceiling, and then some honeycomb shaped tiles there on the flooring with a little bit of a sparkle to them in that shower. Oh, black rain shower head, that's different. We haven't seen one of those yet. Let's get out of this room. It honestly just feels so open up here. It's not claustrophobic. As you can see, there's just tons of room. The ceilings are super high throughout the house. To my left on the first floor, to my right, lots of cabinetry. I like the lights underneath the floating cabinets above. So much storage space down below. To my left are two bedrooms, and now to my left now is the master, but let's go this way. We'll run through these rooms pretty quick, but the walls in here are amazing. They actually look like bricks looks more of like an east coast style but that's fake brick that's definitely an upgrade in this room and you can see the staging is really cool you have bunk beds a walk-in closet on the opposite side to the left is the bathroom which finally includes a bathtub down there so definitely maybe maybe if you have some twins you can have them take a bath or sleep in the bunk beds black rain shower head white tiles similar vanity different countertops i like that material it's a little different toilet in the back and we actually have polyester floors down here in this bathroom haven't seen that yet but now follow me this way the next bedroom is a little different so this would be considered the junior suite it is the second largest bedroom up here on this level aside from the master obviously i love how the walls look like it was just drawn by a kid but it's actually new york you see the empire state building up there in the corner which is really nice a nice fan in the direct center, lots of natural sunlight, corner room as well, walk-in closet directly in front of me, and then the bathroom. A little bit more room here in this bathroom. The countertops have more space to the left and to the right side. No tub this time, but you have a different textured tile that almost looks like it's chrome, and it goes from floor to ceiling in there. But a lot of space here in this bathroom, as I did say, it's the second biggest bedroom and bathroom up on this level. But now let's show you the last one, which is something special. So as we walk down this hallway, the master bedroom has its own entire section of this upstairs level. And let's take a look at it. Well, obviously this is the biggest bedroom of the house. It's amazing. You already get the views of the entire San Fernando Valley all the way to the Santa Monica Mountains, a very massive balcony, which we're gonna go out to in a sec, but first flat screen TV, some storage space in your TV stand beneath. I love the limestone material that we see on the back side of the bed, two windows to both sides, and we have a circular light fixture above that almost look like there are several candles surrounding that. Plenty of space in here. You can have your own living room set up right in front of your TV, but now let's walk out through these sliding glass doors. Take a look at this balcony. Now this balcony is bigger than I'm pretty sure every bedroom in this house. There's so much space up here to walk around, more limestone up above that wood burning fireplace too nice modern light fixtures to either side that will dim at night and it will look incredible. A modern fan right above, two wood beams on both sides of it. And you can look down through two sides. It's super opened up to your pool, outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, jacuzzi, the views. This, this is probably my favorite part of the house, definitely. As we walk to the bathroom, you can see you have the alarm system up here in your room and then obviously AC thermostat, but let's go into the bathroom. Into the master bathroom, this is definitely different than what you're used to seeing. Starting with the tiles on the floors, almost looks as if it's a wood material and a crossing pattern. You don't normally see that in a tile, but it definitely contrasts well with the dual vanity to my right with the dark brown and the quartz countertops. Lots of room here in the center, massive oversized mirror that stretches from the left side to the right side of your dual sink area. Recess lighting, you have built-in speakers and your bathtub is over on this side, freestanding in front of your shower that's made from, you have your glass door from the bottom all the way up to the ceiling once again. Your door is here on the left side. I always gotta step into the shower just to, uh, to get a little feel of it, even though it echoes a bit in here, but we have polyester flooring there in your shower. It's a really nice tile, large slabs here on the walls couple of windows to bring in natural sunlight, black rain shower head, two shower niches, shower bench over on the opposite side. And now what's over here? Well, there's a sneak peek into the closet. Oh, the closet's too nice to go into right now, but to my left, a little private toilet room, obviously a door will, will be built in 
if you purchase this home, um, this model, or if you buy your own separate home. To my right, you have two Whirlpool washer and dryers, and then a, let's go in here real quick before the, the closet actually. Lots of countertop space on both sides of this sink. Floating cabinetry above, a different type of backsplash material, all upgrades as well. But let's check out this closet because it's one of the best. Sometimes when I walk into these closets, I feel like I'm in a completely different home. There's just so much light, LED light strips in every single space of this closet. And you have glass doors to make it feel super open. Over to the left side, you have a mirror with the glass countertop so you can see into your accessories, jewelry, whatever you might want. See your high-end watches down in there. And on this side, little makeup section, just more space to put all of your clothes. Honestly, what else can I say? This is unbelievable. I could spend a lot of time in here even though I don't have that many clothes, but 10 out of 10. So I had to go back downstairs in front of the floating staircase, the bar obviously, and these 40 foot high ceilings. I don't know exactly how high they are, but some of the highest you'll ever see. But thank you guys so much. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button yet, please kindly do so. It really helps out the channel a lot. Going to be posting a lot more videos coming soon in the future. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, if you like nice houses in Los Angeles, or contact me below if you want to know more information about this one because it's unreal. They're selling so quick. Prices are going so high. And we will see you guys on the next one.